Today is Sunday, February 21st. Today is the first Sunday of Lent. Our Lent theme this year connects with the paper chains that we started on Ash Wednesday. You cut these pages apart. Each Sunday in Lent, we will connect the Bible lesson with the concept of breaking free from different kinds of attitudes and habits that act like chains on our lives or for others' lives. Breaking free from chains is different than letting go. To break free, we must do a few things. First, we become aware of the chains. Then we learn the effect of those chains on our behaviors. The next step would be that we resist those chains. And then we actively work to break the chains. And that includes asking others to help us break free of those chains. Breaking chains that hold us is hard work. We need to keep at it for a long time and we cannot do it alone. We thank God for the community that helps us, that God gives us one another and God gives us support. Some ideas act like chains for us. And during Lent, we will focus on breaking free from different chains. The first week, we'll focus on breaking free from stereotypes of others and fear of others. We break free of that for the purpose of connecting with one another and relationships that honor all of God's creatures. In the second week of Lent, we will focus on breaking free from our pride and comparing ourselves with others. We break free from that for the purpose of celebrating that God's grace is given for all. In the third week of Lent, we will consider how despair drowns out hope. And we break free from that despair and hopelessness for the purpose that hope does not miss anyone, not one person, not one coin, not one sheep. None will be lost. The fourth week of Lent, we focus on breaking free from our sense of entitlement and self-importance breaking free for the purpose of faith and trusting 
outside of ourselves. The fifth week of Lent, we will focus on breaking free from the chains of shame and embarrassment breaking free for the purpose of healing. And restoring. When we get to Palm Sunday, we will break free of the expectations we have of how things should go. And we break free for the purpose of celebrating all that God brings to us. And finally, on Easter Sunday, we will break free from the chains of death for the purpose of new life. Our chains are gone.